Hi guys, so today we are gonna talk about three Bs, bronzer, blush, and brows. So uh, yesterday was base face. We're not gonna have Bs all throughout the week, but it just happens that there's three things that I'm gonna talk about today and they all start with B. So I got bunker day, I don't, I don't even know what that, how that means. I was trying to come up like with a smart little saying and that's all I had. So if you guys have any ideas, like jot them down below. That would be great to help me out. So after I have my foundation on and I love it, it's changed my whole face into one color, which is not what I want. So I'm gonna go and take my bronzer. We have three shades. Um, for lighter skin tones, I would suggest Sunset. And for darker ones, there is Hermosa and there is Malibu. I started out with Hermosa. I used a full thing of Hermosa. And now I'm on Malibu. And when you see these ridges right there, that's the bottom. You're not gonna get any more. And that's what happened to me. I used the whole entire thing. So, um, cause I love this. Like it, you can use it to contour. We do have, for another day, we do have the sculpturing contour kit, sculpting trio. And it made sculpting super easy and we'll talk about that later, no worries. But today, easy and simple, I do this every day and one day I forgot and I was looking at my face like, something's off, what's going on? And it was because I forgot bronzer. So I'm gonna take my powder puff brush, this one here, and my bronzer. There is a darker and a lighter, sh sh dark, darker and a lighter side. The lighter side kind of gives more of a shimmer and the darker is the one that does the the more defining area. So a very light, not complicated, not hard, easy thing to do with your bronzer. I just, I don't pick a side. Um, if I'm gonna do severe contouring, if that's what you wanna say, then as you can see, I use this side more. But for every day, I just puff it in there. Then what you wanna do, I have a larger forehead and the bronzer darkens. So the dark areas are gonna fall back and then the lighter, if you hear of highlighting, like under your eyes or down the bridge of your nose, that's gonna come to the forefront. So what I wanna do is just have a little bit of bronzer up here and it just diminishes the look of your forehead. Like it just, you just want definition. You want, you don't want your whole face to be one gorgeous shade of foundation. So that's what I do up there. And so it's gonna be darker in the hairline and then coming down to lighter. And so I just quickly do that. Then I puff it a few more times. Right down here is from the top of your ear down, that's where you wanna contour. And if you're gonna do some serious contouring, that's what you do. But for me, every day I just start doing this a little bit and then pop it on the other side. And in the summer months I go poof, poof, and that's it. Um, poof, I got a fuzzy. All right, so what you can do though, if you want this here to be lighter, is you can take the darker side of your bronzer and just puff it down here. And that's gonna darken the sides of your nose and highlight the bridge of your nose. Um, you can put some like right here, you can get a finer brush for that. But really, super simple for bronzer, it's like the number three just like this. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> so you also want to bring some down here. And this, once again, it's gonna darken. It's going to, everybody's gonna see your face. You want to, that's what you wanna emphasize. So just along your jawline, just a little bit of um, bronzer just helps. And that's super easy. Number three, letter E. That's all you need to remember for that. So that is bronzer. I love the bronzer. Love it, love it, love it. So bronzer, blush. There is lots of shit, where is my blush? What? I know it's here somewhere, I just can't see it. There it is. Um, there's lots of different shades. This one here is my favorite, it's sweet. Uh, a lot of the shades are super pigmented. So if you get it, go like this and tap off the excess, then lightly tap your face because, and then you can always add more, but um, like sophisticated, I think, is that the one? Really bright color, gorgeous, but I'm just warning you, it's highly pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way. Like this is gonna last you forever. So um, what I do, sweet, is a little bit easier to use that way. I just pop it in a little bit, 
And then I just want a little bit of color here. So you did the bronzer down here. You do the blush above it. I just go like this. Super easy. And it just puts some color into your face, especially when you're feeling under the weather and you've got a cold. Winter is coming. Like that's going to happen. This just puts some color into your face. So already you can see my face is not all that one shade color that it used to be. It's given some dimension and love it. All right. So brows. Here is my brow pencil. This is my third, I think. It is awesome. I'm going to do one brow with my pencil and then I will show you what I do with um, the powders because I run out of this baby a lot. So as you can see, this end, uh, there's three shades, by the way, light, medium, and dark, and this happens to be dark. So if you have, like I've got black eyebrows, so then I use the dark. So this, you turn it and it goes up. So I am, all you do is you run along like the top of your, like where your brows are naturally. And you're just gonna use soft little strokes and go across. And underneath, going over, and then down. So how you want to know where this, look at, look how good that looks already, and I'm not even done. So you take the edge of your nose and your eye, and that's where you want your eyebrow to start. Then you run it through your pupil, and that is where you want your arch to be. And then this and the edge of your eye, that's where you want your eyebrow to end. So that's an easy little way of measuring and knowing like when you're done. All right, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Mine are sparse, overplucked. So I'm gonna do right here, add some right here, a little extra and you're gonna see. And this is not like, oh my word, I can't do that, freaking out, because I'm gonna show you a trick. So you do that, going across and down. All right, super easy, super simple. Now check this out. The other end is what they call a spoolie. All you're gonna do is take that, go like this a little bit, and then you're gonna get that faded in look. See that? Like in it, you're gonna miss it if you like blink or something. And if you make a mistake somewhere, you can rub it a little bit and it will lighten it up. It will blend it in. Brush your brows in the direction that you want them to go. Funny little story, when me and my sister, my sister and I, whatever, we were younger, I would lick my finger and go like this on our eyebrows because her eyebrows would like go all like this. She hated it to this day. Oh my word, she still remembers it, oops. All right, so I'm gonna take palette one. You can take any uh, color that you like. I'm gonna take forthright and I'm gonna take my, um, my liner shader brush. Let's see. That is caked on with some. I was playing around with that yesterday. I did a bat face. All right. So, all right. I'm going to take my liner shader brush and I'm going to run it in my um, forthright, which is a dark brown color. And all I'm going to do is follow, do the same thing. Just follow where my eyebrows go naturally up at the top you can also wet your brush and do this it will be uh, more pronounced it won't be as uh, such a soft look and then you're going to go across fill it in a little bit and i like to come out here extra and do that okay now yeah i'm gonna have to fix this before i go out because they look two different ones. I'm gonna take my spoolie. Um, you can get a spoolie from anywhere, but this way, if you run out, don't throw out your, your eyebrow pencil, and you just go like this and do the same thing you did before. You're just gonna lighten it up so it blends into your eyebrow, and there you go. I'm gonna brush it a few more times. There we go, good to go. If, like I think this tail is too long, you can, Ta-da! All done. All right, so two easy ways to do your eyebrows. Uh, you can see the, the color that my face has if you go to the beginning of this video and watch quite a difference, just easy little tips um, 
Super simple, easy guys. All right, thanks a lot.